yes, 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 it's Raphael Dawkins with the Combat Radio. And what are we looking at? We're looking at Tito Ortiz versus Anderson Silva, the way. And uh, let's let's get on with it. Let's get into it. Tito Ortiz. Two hundred pounds even. Two hundred pounds even. Uh, fella, the fella came in knowing that he had to be one nine five. He's contested his light. What do you mean, light, light heavyweight, light heavyweight in the UFC at two o five for his whole career over there. I think he retired or retired from the UFC, or they let him go, or whatever. How well, long ago? many years ago probably seven years ago so it's been a while but he's said he was retired but he's taken part in different one-off events one-off fights here and there over the years he was the long reigning light heavyweight UFC champion whilst Anderson Silva was the middleweight UFC champion, much longer reigning, the longest reigning champion in the UFC. So Tito comes in at, uh, what did he come in at? What did they say? 200 pounds. 200 pounds. And it should have been 195. Well, what happened with? What happened with Anderson? Okay, so Anderson makes weight. Eight two minute rounds tomorrow night. Eight two minute rounds. <laughs> okay, so Tito Ortiz with his usual antics. It's always something with Tito. It's always something with Tito. And uh I ain't. And now we got Vitor Belfort versus versus Evander Holyfield and Vito Vitor looking thick and ripped. That's a bad sign. <laughs> that means that means he's doing the pharmacology. Yeah. yeah, he don't look like that when he's uh he don't look like that when he's uh Ooh, natural. That's just my opinion. Okay. And uh, Evander Holyfield looking in very good shape, very good shape for a 59-year-old man, or any kind of man, to be fair. But uh, yeah, he's never really been any slouch. He's never been a slouch. Never been known to be a slouch. So, yeah, it's no wonder he's in good shape. Looks, it looks in good shape, but not... Shouldn't be in a ring getting punched in the head. That's ridiculous, ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. Um, and Vitor looks like he's under supplements. So, whew. what's going to happen tomorrow? I dread to think. I hope Ivanda emerges safe. He's 50 year, 58 years old, 59 in a month's time. Uh, so that's the story of the thriller, the top of the card thriller fights. Tito Ortiz up to his usual antics. He didn't want to cut down to 195. Comes in at 200 flat. So hopefully he gets a fine for every pound that he comes in over. Uh, hefty fine, hefty fine too. Okay, so there it is. It's the Raphael Dawkins, it's the Combat Radio, it's the Tito Ortiz coming in five pounds over. It's the 
Vitor Belfort. I think he came in at 205 versus 220 pounds for Evander Holyfield. Real deal. Okay, it's Raphael Dawkins, the combat radio. It's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comments, it's the shares. And it is the hitting that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. You don't forget about the live show. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Why is he making kissy kissy faces? <laughs> And I'm out.